Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great day so far and thank you so much for deciding to click on this video and hanging out with me for a little bit today. I have a ton of motivation coming your way. I got some cleaning, some decluttering, and some organizing. I've been so overwhelmed lately with just all of the stuff in my house that I want to purge it all. But we're going to start with a few closets. I know a lot of people are decluttering and reorganizing this time of the year. So I hope this gives you guys some motivation to tackle an area of your home that is just a little bit cluttered or a little bit overwhelming for you. And hopefully you can get up and clean along with me as well. But before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and join my little YouTube fam. I would love to have you here, but let's get started. So I've been using some new cleaning products from Branch Basics lately and I wanted to share them with you guys in this video because the ones that I have used I have really really enjoyed. They are a company that sells non-toxic and plant-based cleaning products and you can find a product for just about any area of your home with them. The ones that I have used have been so amazing. I've really really enjoyed using them. They don't have a scent to them at all which if I'm being honest completely threw me off at first because I do like my cleaning products and my laundry detergent to have a good scent to them. But honestly, these products clean so well, you don't really even notice that. So I'm really quickly gonna show you guys how it works. So you will get a bottle of concentrate that will make all of your cleaners and then you'll get empty bottles that you can reuse time and time again so you're not throwing away all those plastic bottles. The bottles will come with a line that you fill up with water and then the next line you will fill up with the concentrate and then you will top it off with a little bit more water and that will make your cleaner. Um, this is the laundry detergent and I'm actually gonna use it for the first time in just a second. And I wanna let you guys know that just because it doesn't have any scent doesn't mean it's not cleaning your clothes really, really well. My clothes came out smelling super clean, if that makes any sense. I did also use the Oxy Boost, which you can use for a multitude of other things throughout your house, but you can also use it in your laundry. So I did that. And I also wanted to mention to you guys that there will be a link down in my description box. If you choose to check out their products, you'll get $10 off your first order. So in a recent video, I had reorganized this laundry closet, but this past week we had to fix a drywall patch behind our washer and dryer. 
So we had to pull everything out of there and we also decided to hang some shelves. We're not finished with the closet yet. We still need to finish the drywall and also paint it. So it doesn't look its best right now, but it gives us so much more storage. We are very limited on storage in our house, which is why all of the clutter and all of the stuff just gives me so much anxiety and drives me crazy. So in just a little bit, we're gonna be decluttering one of my son's closets which is a total mess. I actually showed that to you guys, I think about two weeks ago, and I'm finally getting around to it. So all of that stuff that's right there by the kitchen table, the crock pots and all that stuff, were all the stuff that was inside of the laundry closet that I'm needing to find new homes for, which is why we're going to be decluttering Dalton's closet. It's not going to be traditional. I know it's going to be kind of weird that we're going to have kitchen stuff inside of his closet, but it's how it works best for us. And when you see his closet in just a second, you're going to realize that his closet is not used for what a closet is supposed to be used for. It's just packed with all kinds of random stuff, most of which I get rid of because we obviously don't need it. I didn't even know half of the stuff that was in here. So I'm so glad to have uh, this closet cleaned out. I'm the queen of shoving something in a closet and shutting the door and completely forgetting about it. And I really wanna be better with that, especially since we are so limited on space in our home. I really need to try to cut down on the clutter because I really feel like it will just relieve a lot of stress for me. But now I'm gonna go ahead and empty out this closet completely and just go through everything. Take it all in now, I see what I'm asking for It's just some space and some time, then I'll be alright I've been having thoughts in my mind, I can't get up Tell me things I can't say myself from you and no I have a really big problem throwing blankets away. I just cannot ever bring myself to do it. So I went through this basket intending on getting rid of some blankets and I didn't get rid of any blankets. <laughs> All of the blankets in there I felt sentimental about and I just couldn't get rid of them. Let me know down in the comments if you're like me and you are attached to blankets or if it's not blankets, let me know what it is that you have trouble getting rid of. So now that I've went through and decluttered everything, I actually am donating 90% of the stuff that was in this closet. I'm going to be putting this shelf in here. This was originally in our laundry closet and it was four shelves tall, I believe, maybe five. But I am just going to put half of it in this closet so I can store our crock pots, my deep fryer, air fryer, some overflow oils and vinegars and just really stuff that I don't have room for in my kitchen in this closet. 
um, and I know it's really weird to be storing all of this stuff in my son's closet but it really is working out the best for us right now I do put a lock on this closet so that Dalton can knock it in there without us it's just a little latch that goes on the top of the accordion doors and you slide it and he is not able to open it because I know all of that stuff could be pretty dangerous for him if he was able to get in there so I did want to mention that and now this is the very next day and we're going to be moving into my bedroom I wanted to get my sheets changed and my bed made really quick just to tie the room together and then we're going to be um moving all of my clothes from my dresser into that plastic three storage bin underneath of my window that was actually in Dalton's closet because I want to get rid of my dresser I want to open up this room a little bit what I'm coming to realize is less is more and I just need less stuff in our house it will just make me so much more happy I think and I also want to be able to put like a long mirror where my dresser is because I have no room in my bedroom to put one and I really don't have a ton of clothes so I don't need this dresser here so we're just gonna get rid of it it's always mixed emotions the first step is always hard when you walk out of the doorway but that's just the place to start the only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before oh oh yeah now it's time for something better and time for us to follow our dreams no, we can't stay no more So my plan is to put that three storage bin with all of my clothes into the closet. So all of my clothes are in this closet. I'm going to be putting our dirty laundry basket into the laundry closet since we have more room in there. And I actually am going to be getting a smaller one because this one is just too big. And I think that's why I get so backed up on laundry because I have those three dirty laundry baskets and I don't know I'm just trying to get my life organized you guys so I'm gonna empty out the bottom of this closet completely as you can see I'm gonna sweep it out now and then we're gonna be putting back in that three storage bin with my clothes and then just a few other things this closet has also always been a sore spot for me um, as many times as I clean it out it just gets jam-packed again with stuff so I'm really gonna do my best at not keeping stuff that I don't want because I will hang on to stuff like little organizers and just tiny things just because I think maybe one day I'm gonna want to use it but I'm gonna be better about just donating and getting rid of stuff that I'm no longer gonna use and now I'm gonna go through all of my clothes that are hanging up and just get rid of clothes that I haven't worn recently or that I want to keep that I like but I don't like the way it fits me and so I never wear it if that makes any sense I'll put it on and then take it right back off but for some reason I haven't gotten rid of it yet I'm gonna get rid of it today and playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me but this time this time
Okay, so now that the floors are swept and everything else is clean in my bedroom, I'm going to go ahead and fold these two loads of laundry that I have sitting here and get them put away. So if you have some laundry that needs to be done, go ahead and grab it and we can fold it together. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get all of this laundry put away and that is going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one and thank you so, so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. I hope it was able to give you guys some motivation to tackle something on your to-do list, whether it's cleaning or decluttering and organizing. I hope you were able to get something done with me. But before you leave, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you did enjoy it. And also hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I would love to have you hang around and check out the rest of my videos. But I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye guys. Been on and off again and again